Hello, today I wanted to do a quick video on a video I saw on YouTube about making your own flux. I had seen a video online of another technician doing it and it looked to work quite well and it's a fraction of the cost of what you would buy uh, already made in the, uh, the tubes or the jars or the syringes. This might not be no clean, uh, but it does a decent job and it doesn't leave that much of a mess that I've found. So I'm going to show you how to make it. Uh, this is the bottle that I already made uh, a couple days ago. I wanted to use it and make sure it actually worked before making a video on it. And I just wanted to do my own take on it. So I will show you how it works here. So let me just get a little piece of solder. So I'm just going to drop a solder ball on that. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'll put a little bit of flux on that. Nicely soldered and doesn't leave a lot of mess. Give it a little bit of a hose. And there we go. So it does a pretty decent job and for the money that it costs i'll get into the details here and i ordered this from amazon it's just rosin for a violin viola and cello uh, it is for the musical instruments now it is very sticky to the touch so i'm going to put gloves on uh, the first time i took this out there was a uh, oh hell what the hell there was a plastic like kind of like a wax wrapper around it for holding it when you're whack or uh, rosining up your, your 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 string your string instrument but i took that off just for easy access and to break it all apart you do have to chip the rosin off the big block and basically mush it all down into a fine powder and then you're going to put it into this or a similar container and then the rest of the mix is pretty much alcohol so i will go ahead and get started let's put that over there so what I'm going to do is just use coffee filters here to confine all my mashing. The reason why I'm doing a, a video on this, what's already been done by Sorin, I think his name is, I, when I saw his video, I was like, you know what, that's too good to be true. It's, it's so simple and it works so effectively, there's no way it's going to work if I try it. So that's why I did it. I wanted to try it and see if it was actually as easy as it looked and if it was effective as it is. And then I thought, okay, well it is. So I'm going to share my experience with uh, my viewers and hopefully some new viewers. And basically uh, you can start saving some money and making your own flux. So here we go. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna chip some pieces of this off. Now what you use to chip is entirely up to you. Uh, I would like to use an older tool. That way I don't have to worry about gumming up something good. So all we're gonna do is we're just going to chip. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit here. Just chippy. Got some pretty big chips there. And so now what we can do is I'm just going to cover it. And then basically I've got a little hammer here. Now this stuff is very brittle. It's probably got the same consistency as a lollipop. Bad, not bad. I'm just gonna kind of 
it up into. Now it doesn't have to be that fine of power. Like see what I've got here, that's probably okay. It's just that it will take a little bit longer to dilute in the alcohol when you put it in the bottle. It will dilute, it's just bigger chunks take a little bit more time. So I'm just gonna mash it up a little bit more. Here we go. That's looking perfect. That's actually better than the first batch I did. So at this point what I'm gonna do is, we have our fine mash. Uh, we're just going to put that into a nice little line. And uh, we're going to not make any drug reference jokes. Oh, too late. And then these bottles came with a handy little funnel. And we're just gonna go in and put that in very carefully. So like I said, that thing of rosin was only, I think it was like six bucks. Now I have ordered lots more from AliExpress. So I'll have flux for a long time. So there we go, we're like probably a good f at the five mil mark, give or take. You can see that. Yeah, maybe about the five mil mark. Uh, the last time I made that a batch, that was really enough. Uh, you could probably add more if you wanted to. I don't think there's a need to. And I must be filming a video because there's a cat. As per usual. Now I do have my big bottle of IPA here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to squirt the IPA into this bottle. Yeah, I know Onyx. Now when you're making this, you do have to use 99% IPA. You don't want anything that has a water content or a very small water content. So I just filled it up to like a halfway mark and you can see it's not mixing yet, but I'm going to give it a couple little shakes here. And then you can still see at this point, there's still quite a bit on the bottom there. That will, like that will dilute eventually. You can just keep shaking it or just basically leave it and wait for it to dilute, whatever you have time for. So this actually, it's a little bit darker than my original one. You know, I'll show you for comparison in a second. So I must have, I used a little bit more rosin in this one than I did the first one. Again, I don't think that makes a hell of a lot of difference. And how are we looking now? And that kind of looks like a urine sample. But you can still see there's just a little bit there and pretty much the rest of it is diluted. So I'm gonna go ahead and top this off to the 30 mil mark. Right about there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and give it a few more shakes here. we go that looks pretty good kind of looks like apple juice you put the lob I'm gonna put the lid back on and then the needle applicator and then there goes the clock as per usual let me just uh, clean up my work area while the freaking clock goes off Okay, so the clock has stopped singing to me, and I'm just going to continue getting rid of some stuff here. Now you have to remember that doing this, it's it's actually pretty sticky, this rosin. So I'm just going to clean everything up with a little bit of alcohol on a rag here. That way you're not tracking stickiness all over the place. There we go. And actually, you can see now, that is clear. There's no more particles in that. 
So everything in there has been diluted. Now, if you look at my first bottle of Flux, it's well, maybe not, maybe a little bit lighter, but not much. Actually, I don't think there's much difference at all. At any rate, the little plastic thing that was around this, I basically used, you can see all these little bits and everything that came off when I took it off. So that's what I used. And it equals almost the same amount as what I just cut up. But you can see, I've, I've made two bottles of this and uh, I've used this quite a bit. I've had a few jobs in, um, but that was up to the 30 mil mark and it's like probably at 28 mils right now. So it lasts quite a bit. So if I can get maybe say this has two bottles there, so say three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe maybe eight to 10 bottles, of little bottles of Flux and I paid $6 for it plus the IPA. So 30 times 10, that's 300 milliliters, which is like one of the tiny first aid bottles of alcohol, which is probably like five or six bucks. So really for a matter of like say $15, you can make a, a lot of flux. Uh, that's quite a savings. And like I said, it's, it's quite effective. So that's why I went with it. So what I'll do now is I'll just zoom in here and we'll move right there. There's the very first one that I did for you guys. So we're gonna do here. This one's a little bit dirtier. So this is new bottle of Flux. Oh, nothing written on it yet. Put a little couple of dabs here. And there's Cobbs messaging me, my son. So we'll let this heat up. Okay, and a little bit there. Just like that. Beautiful. There you go. Nicely soldered. Beautiful. Looks pretty good very effective solder flux. Uh, I'm gonna keep using this. I, I can't see any reason why to use anything else, uh, like the thicker stuff, the pasty stuff. There are applications where you might wanna use that because of gravity. <laughs> if you're working, uh, say on like something that's vertical and you need flux just to sit and not move, uh, then you might wanna use something a little bit thicker like the stuff out of the syringe or the stuff out of the jar for everyday electronics repair, this is this is going to work quite nicely. Um, now, the other YouTube video that I, I I saw, he commented on the smell of the rosin. Actually, and it's very it, it does smell pleasant. It doesn't stink like regular flux. It has a nice kind of uh, not earthy, but like you know, like a pine tree kind of smell because well, that's where it came from. Uh, but it doesn't have that stench to it. it. It's not something that when you see the smoke coming, you know you're not going to have an instant coughing fit. It's kind of a nice mild uh, odor, uh, and it smells like pine tree, bur a burning pine tree. If you ever had a fire, it's kind of what it smells like. So let's do a comparison really quick here. This is the stuff that I usually work with. It's a chip quick. Uh, this is 30 grams. Now you can see size comparison. This was uh, I think 17, 17 to 20 dollars when I bought it. This stuff is great. I love this. This is what I've used for a very long time. Um, <clears throat> I will use this instead of this from now on. I will use this still when I'm working in a situation where I need tacky flux. Uh, so you know um, if I'm working against gravity or something, I will use this definitely. Uh, any other time I'm going to be using this. Um, total cost of this, I'm going to say this probably maximum $2 to make this. If you include the bottle, maybe, maybe four, if that. And this was 17 to $20. Okay guys, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, 
comment below. Um, it's been a little bit busy in the workshop lately. I've had quite a few interesting things come in. Um, right now I currently have a, a Lindrum drum machine. It was pretty big in the 1980s. A lot of musicians uh, used it to record a lot of songs, such as Phil Collins. So I have one sitting right next to me. I might do a video on that. Uh, it, it, it needs its pots cleaned and everything, so uh, buttons and pots. So I might, and sliders. So I might do a video on that. That's uh, going to be a big job, though. So uh, watch for a video on that soon. Um, until then, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you for all the new subscribers. I appreciate you. And we'll see you in the next one.